stronger than ever. So North Carolinians, I present to you the next governor of North Carolina, Josh Stein. North Carolina! Oh my goodness! Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It is a treat to be with you. Thank you, Governor Cooper, for that very generous introduction. And thank you, North Carolina! Tonight, the people of North Carolina resoundingly embraced a vision that's optimistic, forward-looking, and welcoming. A vision that's about creating opportunity for every North Carolinian. We chose hope over hate. Competence over chaos. Decency over division. That's who we are as North Carolinians. And I am so honored that you have elected me to be your next governor. Thank you. Thank you. I've got an easy question and I already know the answer, but I'm going to ask you all anywhere. Who here, like me, loves North Carolina? Yeah. North Carolina is home. Home to remarkable natural beauty. Home to small businesses and Fortune 500 companies. Home to some of the finest universities and one of the best community college systems in the nation. And we are home to the best people. As we celebrate tonight, our hearts are with the folks of Western North Carolina who are still struggling. Hurricane Helene swept in devastation, destruction, and darkness. But the goodness of North Carolinians shone through. Neighbors helping neighbors, people dropping everything to lend a hand. And by the way, none of those folks cared whether the person they were helping was a Democrat, a Republican, or an Independent. They just showed up because that's who we are as North Carolinians. And we will show up for the people of Western North Carolina to help them rebuild safer and stronger than ever before. I ran for governor because I love our home state. And I believe in the promise of North Carolina that where you come from should never limit how far you can go. That our kids and grandkids should enjoy a better and brighter future than we've had. That every North Carolinian should have a fair shot at success starting a small business or getting a good paying job everywhere in this state, including small town North Carolina. To deliver on that promise, we must invest in our people and their futures so that together we build a safer, stronger North Carolina where the economy continues to grow and works for everyone. Where our public schools are excellent and our teachers are well paid. And where our neighborhoods are safe and women can make their own decisions about their own bodies. Just like rebuilding Western North Carolina, these issues, good jobs, strong public schools, safe neighborhoods, and personal freedoms are not partisan issues. They are North Carolina issues. 
We have big challenges ahead, but we have even bigger dreams to realize. We can cut taxes for workers so you keep more of your own money. We can pay teachers what they deserve and open up doors of opportunities for our children. We can expand career and technical education because you shouldn't have to go to college to provide for your own family. To build this brighter future, we must put aside our differences and work together. We must reject the politics of division, fear, and hate that keep us from finding common ground. We will go further when we go together, not as Democrats, not as Republicans, not as independents, but as North Carolinians. And I know we can do this because I know who we are. I have met so many inspiring people across this state. Debbie and Cornelius, who tragically lost her son to fentanyl and is fighting to protect other families from that same fate. Lauren, a teacher in Greenville, who digs into her own pocket to buy school supplies for her students to give them a better chance. I want to thank everyone I have met along the way for sharing your stories with me. And to the thousands and thousands of people from every corner of this state who helped to build this campaign, I am forever grateful for your support. Thank you for believing in the promise of North Carolina. And if I didn't earn your vote in this election, I hope to earn your trust by working hard for you as your governor. I pledge to listen and work across party lines to do what's right for North Carolina because no person or party has a monopoly on good ideas. To all of the smart and smart Alec young people on my campaign, Thank you for the long days and late nights. Thank you for the hard and high quality work. And thank you for the laughter along the way. They, by the way, are incredible. I also want to thank Governor Cooper Let's give that man the hand that he deserves. Roy Cooper has led our state with a steady hand through an unprecedented global pandemic, a 1,000-year storm in the West, and two 500-year floods in the East. He expanded Medicaid, strengthened our business climate, and fought for our public schools. Roy, I could not be more grateful for your service and your friendship, and do not even think about changing your cell phone number on me. My parents, Adam and Jane, raised my brother Eric and my sister Gerda to try to do what is right just like they did. It's truly one of the best gifts that parents can give to their children. I want to thank them and I hate that my dad got a bug yesterday working early voting and so they're watching it here on TV. Let's all say thank you Adam and Jane. To my wife, Anna. Otherwise known as a rock star. Thank you for being the glue that keeps our family together for keeping me focused on the things that really matter, and for being you.
She is going to be a remarkable first lady. We are blessed to have our three kids here today, Sam, Adam, and Leah. Mom and I love you very much and are incredibly proud of you. Fundamentally, this campaign is about you and all of the young people of North Carolina. We want all of you to want to call North Carolina home the same way we do. Friends, we are so blessed to be of this place. And while nowhere is perfect, I firmly believe that whatever may be wrong with our state can be repaired by all that is right. After all, North Carolina is where the Greensboro Four sat down and the Wright brothers took flight. It's where my father joined Julius Chambers and James Ferguson to form North Carolina's first integrated law firm to fight for equality and opportunity for all. It's where people come together to solve tough problems and believe that our best days are ahead of us, not behind us. This is our North Carolina. This is our home. Tonight, let's celebrate this hard-fought victory, and tomorrow we will get back to work to building a North Carolina that is safer, stronger, and more prosperous for everyone. Thank you, and may God bless you, and may God bless the state of North Carolina. Thank you. Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta 